Hello, my dear artists. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great at home, and I hope you're enjoying the classes that we have together. Our project today is about spring. Look, we're going to draw this little tiny bird on the tree. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to show you how we can make it today together. And for our project, we will need some materials. As usual, we will use some paper. Uh, it's a regular white paper, just like as we used before. And you're going to place it on your table like this in front of you. Remember, horizontal. You will see the picture of the project um, on your screen, so don't worry, you won't forget. Um, we will also need some green paper, like this, if you have it at home. If you don't, that it's still okay. So let's check again what we need for our project. We need two pieces of white paper, A4 size or bigger, one piece of green paper, a pencil, a marker, scissors, and some glue or glue stick. Don't forget you will need an eraser too. For coloring, you can use any materials that you have at home. Pastels, markers, or colored pencils. I'm going to use pastels for my project, but feel free to use whatever you have at home. So, for this class, I have prepared a very interesting thing. While we're drawing today, we're going to listen to this beautiful bird sounds. I'm sure you will enjoy, but let's wait and see how it goes. Let's imagine ourselves in the forest. Look around. See these little birds? They are very useful for nature. Not only they are beautiful and make beautiful sounds, they are also very helpful for the trees to grow. Because they eat and carry seeds, they also eat worms and they eat bugs. If you look at the tropical birds, you will see their colors are so bright. So if you're ready, let's start drawing our spring bird. Okay, keep your paper horizontal and draw a straight line for the tree on the left side from the top to the bottom. Then you can start drawing the branch with soft wavy lines. Starting from the middle of the bigger branch, you can draw three, four smaller ones. Then let's outline your drawing carefully with the black marker. See, this branch is almost the size of your page. Let's use the eraser to remove the lines that we don't need. And let's color your tree. It's going to be brown. Make sure you color carefully. Stay inside your lines. When you're done coloring, let's draw the bird. For this, you need to have a half of A4 paper. Let's draw two circles, one bigger for the head and one smaller for the body. Then the wings. In the middle of the face, there will be two circles. Then two smaller circles inside of each. Two little triangles for the beak. You can add eyelashes here on top of the eyes and add little feathers on top of the head. Let's draw an oval on the chest and add legs. Now let's again outline our drawing with a marker. It's important to draw with a pencil first because it will be easier for you if you make mistakes or draw something wrong or if you want to change the line. Because you can use an eraser. Let's carefully outline the eyes, all the circles that we have inside, and let's color the smallest circle black. This is for the people. Again, we are removing the extra pencil lines with the eraser. Now let's color your bird. You can choose your colors, anything you like, all the bright colors you prefer, green, purple, blue, anything you like. I really want to see your birds very colorful.
So when you finish coloring, let's cut it out. Be careful with the details. Don't cut the extra parts off. Especially here. Let's fold your green paper in half. And draw small half circles on the folded side. Let's cut them out. If you don't have green paper, that's also fine. You can take a piece of white paper and color it with marker or a pastel. Then you fold it inside and do the same thing. Let's draw half circles, cut them out and unfold. You can do both colored paper and the paper that you colored yourself. Let's place our extra details on our drawing. First, let's plan what's going to be where. So we make sure that the composition of our picture is good. If everything ready, try to remember how it looks. Then let's put the glue on the back of every detail and place them on our drawing. You can put as many leaves as you want. You can put them next to each other. You can make both green and light green. Just make sure that they're sitting on the branch nicely. And don't forget to write your name on the bottom. So how did you like it? Was it good? I have very good news for you, by the way. Soon we're going to have our online classes and we're going to draw together. Please, again, send your projects to me. I would love to see them. And definitely I will show some of your projects to everyone because I'm so proud of you guys doing great work. So this is the email waiting for your work and see you soon. Bye.